Hey, everybody. Look, on November 4th, uh, I've been telling you it's so important that everyone who is registered to vote gets to the polls to make your voices heard. Now, our president uh, has made uh, such great progress in the last six years. And although this is not a presidential election, everybody, this election is still very, very important now and for the future generations to come. We must get out and vote on November 4th. So now, as promised, joining us now to discuss the importance of the November 4th election is the president of the United States, our president, President Barack Obama. Steve Harvey, how you doing, man? Sir, how you doing today? You know, I am doing great. It's great to talk to you. Good. How's the uh, family? Family is great. How's yours? Oh, they're beautiful. But we got some, uh, we got some issues, some little business we got to take care of. Well, we do. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm coming on the, the, the sixth year, of the end of the sixth year of my presidency. And you know, I've been talking to people about looking back what we've been able to get accomplished. Uh, you know, we've taken an unemployment rate that was over 10 percent. We've take it, taken it down to under 6 percent. Uh, we've had the longest uninterrupted uh, private sector job growth in history. Uh, we have seen millions of people get health insurance that didn't have it before. Uh, we've seen uh, young people get college scholarships and, and Pell Grants and, and better deals on their loans. And so we've seen an increase in the high school graduation, decrease in uh, you know, the dropout rate. We've seen increased college attendance. Uh, this was the first year in 40 years where the federal uh, prison population went down at the same time as the crime rate went down, in part because of the good work that we've been doing trying mm -hmm. to reform our criminal justice system. So uh, across the board, we're making progress. But yeah. we've got two years left. And uh, this election coming up, gives everybody out there the uh, ability to change Congress so that it will cooperate with me to try to get things done, particularly for folks who are working so hard but haven't seen their wages or their incomes going up. Uh, that's the area where in the economy we have not seen enough progress. The economy is growing. Uh, you know, jobs are being created, but wages and incomes aren't going up, which means mm -hmm. if we want to increase the minimum wage, make sure women are getting paid the same as men for doing the same job, give more opportunities uh, to young people for apprenticeships and internships and giving them ladders of opportunity, uh, mm -hmm. funding early childhood education. I've got to have a Congress that can work with me. That is why this midterm is so important. This yeah. is as important as any election that uh, that's taken place uh, since I got uh, elected president. Right. You know, because in 2010, uh, we saw this low uh, turnout numbers, and it really kind of helped everybody to Tea Party win elections across the country, which impacted much of the progress that we could be making. Like the president is saying, if you got to have a Congress that wants to cooperate to, that, to, that, to that, bring that, about that, these positive changes. That's how it works. And, and you know, the truth of the matter is, is that uh, uh, African-American voters— Young voters, progressive voters, Latino voters, they now vote at relatively high rates during presidential elections. But I'll bet a whole bunch of your listeners aren't even thinking about this election coming up on November 4th. Mm -hmm. But this is really the last election in which I have the opportunity to get a Congress that will work with me to accelerate job growth and give people more opportunity and start boosting wages and getting some of the, uh, our progressive agenda done. And uh, you're exactly right. Back in 2010, folks didn't vote. As a consequence, Tea Party took over the Republican Party. We lost the House. And although we've made a lot of progress on various issues since then, uh, basically Congress has fought me every step of the way. Uh, mm -hmm. And it led to things like the shutdown and uh, all kinds of uh, uh, negative consequences in terms of uh, things like gun control that we couldn't get done. So, so we really need uh, to have uh, the kind of Congress that is serious about uh, the issues that matter to folks. And, and the responsibility up ultimately is on everybody who's listening. Uh, you know, folks like to complain, talk about Washington, but if only 45, 40 percent of the people are voting, then mm -hmm. it's not surprising that uh, Congress isn't responsive. 
if, if, if people voted at the same rates during midterms as they did during presidential elections, we would uh, maintain Democratic control of the Senate, would have a good chance of uh, actually winning back the House potentially. Uh, and so I, I, I need I need everybody listening to, to understand this this is uh, really really important. And and you know you can go to IWillVote.com to find out uh, you know election day polling place. You know if you have early vote in your state, then it'll give you information about that. That's IWillVote.com. But it's the only way that we're going to get to finish the job that we started six years ago. I need everybody's help. You know, this, this is the, the last election that I'm involved with that really makes a difference. Uh, yeah. And I, I, I'm just hoping that everybody comes through because I, I really want to lot, get a lot of stuff done in these last two years. Well, you know, I, th- I think that's the push that we have to make. Uh, the guys like myself who control the airwaves, the Tom Joyners, the Ricky Smiley's, uh, guys like this man who have a huge listenership, we've got to rally to get people to understand how important this November uh, 4th election is. And so, folks, if you want more information, you got to go to IWillVote.com. IWillVote.com. Uh, the president's uh, organization has everything you need to know on there. Uh, find out voter registration guidelines, residency requirements, everything you need to know. And uh, Mr. President, we're going we're gonna to make a real good push here to get behind you and really make these last two years so you can get a few more things done, even though you've accomplished some great accomplishments. I know there's a lot more you want to do before you leave, and, but you need a Congress that's going to cooperate, and that's the only way to get it done. we got to get out and vote. I need everybody to, to really pay attention to this thing. Uh, you know, I, I, uh, I couldn't be prouder of everything that uh, we've already accomplished, but uh, – this is something where I'm just hoping everybody who's listening says, you know, we're, we're going to give one last push uh, so so the president uh, and the first lady have the opportunities to, to really uh, use these last two years on our behalf. Uh, it, it, it's up to everybody on, on the phone to uh, everybody who's listening. It, it's up to them to, to make that difference. It's up to you. Well, that's what we're going to do is IWillVote.com. Mr. President, thank you so much. Tell the First Lady uh, we send our love. And, uh, hey, man, we're pulling for you. Appreciate you, man. Thank you.